Hey guys, Sonny here with some Heroes of the Storm action for you. I'm going to be playing Sonya on Dragonshire, so hopefully I end up with a stronger warrior on my team. Uh, Sonya's a bit on the weaker side as far as being able to take damage. She can dish out quite a bit. She's more of a hybrid warrior assassin than most of the heroes, uh, most of the warriors. So I kind of look at her as like a bit like Kerrigan from the other side. Kerrigan's uh, pretty tanky for an assassin. Sonya's pretty damage dealy for a warrior. Looks like we do have an ETC, which is going to be pretty nice for us. Let's take a look at what we've got. ETC, Malfurion, Vala, Sonya, and Gazlo. So I can let ETC engage without having to engage myself, which is going to be quite nice in those big team fights. So on the enemy team, we have Felstad, Lili, Gazlo, Sergeant Hammer, and Brightwing. So they don't actually have anybody who can stand up to ETC uh, in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Maybe Felstad, maybe Sergeant Hammer, depending on how ETC goes. Uh, we just need to avoid Gazlo's big bomb that will be going on. I'm going to go with increasing my max fury. I tend, I like that one quite a bit. Just because of what... Uh, so with Sonya, you need to stack fury. And it's actually a l interesting mechanic. It's a lot different than mana. I'm going to hide over here in this bush, see if I can catch anybody. So she can use this ancient spear to uh, start stacking mana. This one does generate 20 mana, or 20 fury, sorry. And each attack also generates 4 fury. And also, uh, when she takes damage, it will generate a little bit of fury as well. So in the early game with her, what I like to do is I like to, of course I can't do it now, which is going to be a bit of a problem. So I'm going to use that seismic slam. So I'm going to need some help up here. <coughs> oh, excuse me, one second. Control them and let loose the dragon knight. There we go, I am back. Sorry about that, my throat just got super clogged. I'm going to chew what I can do, uh, try and do what I can to stack Fury and to damage my opponents here. Unfortunately, Brightwing is just going to heal any damage that I do do. Uh, so there's absolutely nothing I could do to this combination. See, Brightwing already healed Sergeant Hammer up. So I'm going to use these guys now to stack a little bit of Fury, do what I can. Looks like Brightwing is trying to get his shot off on me. I do have up to 95 Fury now. And it doesn't help. It doesn't actually degen. Unfortunately, uh, Sergeant Hammer is going to be able to hold that. So the Fury does not degen with time, like uh, a lot of other mechanics, similar mechanics, and other games do. So I'm just going to do that. Try and stack up a little bit more Fury, so that when the fight actually does start, I could really use a lot, quite a bit of help up here. I don't know if I'm going to get it from my team. Looks like uh, we are going in on Sergeant Hammer. Thankfully. Unfortunately, that was a really bad place for me to go in. I don't have any health to be able to make this fight. There goes Brightwing. I do have 24 seconds left on that. Looks like, uh, oh, come on, let's get something. I can't go in there just because Sergeant Hammer's right there. We need somebody who deals a little bit more damage to get up here and help us out. So I'm going to increase the damage of my seismic. So the build I'm going is to make the seismic slam do as much as possible. Which is going to be a bit of a problem. Looks like hopefully Vala can go into the middle there with uh, against Felstad and really hold her on. I do have Max Fury, so I'm going to use the well here to well up. Looks like say there's an enemy dragon already, which is really bad news for us, especially with Sergeant Hammer there right behind them. Looks like Brightwing is moving in on Sergeant Hammer. Uh, Vala is moving out of the middle. Gazlo is not moving up to help. You need people to move in. On one second again. Malfurion does get a nice root off there, but then he just gets punted out of the way. So I'm gonna root, or I'm gonna spear in here and just spam my seismic storm. You see, it has a really, really fast cooldown. And then I'm gonna use my whirlwind to help out. He does punt me out of the way. Hopefully, uh, Furion can give me a bit of a boost here. Looks like we almost have their dragon down. That is etc. There, who's almost dead. Furion does heal him up. Vala is barely gonna get away. Let me say the Dragon Knight did time out there, fortunately. I'm going to see if what we can do here about getting something done. Looks like we have a Gazlo duel going on on the bottom. I'm going to see if we can fight. Uh, well, nope, nope, that is not going to end well for us. Felstad is actually chasing me down, and he almost gets the kill. We do need more people in the middle. This is like we keep fighting four on three or two on four like this. It's going to be a bad situation. He does push Lili back, who unfortunately is very close to dying. Uh, ETC does get killed by running into that enemy team fight. Uh, looks like our Gazlos are having a bit of a duel on the bottom. A little bit of a mirror matchup. Neither one of them is really outplaying the other. Is that Gazlo is coming up, so 
Vala needs to watch out there, especially for when Brightwing does that. Oh, uh, Vala is totally dead here. Uh, Brightwing is actually building, if we take a look at these talents here, you can see he's building a little bit more of a uh, assassin build. He does have his arcane precision and his venom. So to try and uh, build as much damage as possible on Brightwing, he can get away with that because of Lili. ETC needs to back up. Hopefully we can get our whole team here at for once. Uh, this is turning out to be pretty bad for us. I'm going to do more splash damage with my seismic, uh, seismic slam. So looks like we have three up here. Unfortunately, one of them is a healer, and we do not have our healer. Lili is down on the bottom lane, pushing Gazlo back. So I'm going to do what we can up here. I really should actually probably just switch lanes. I don't think we're going to secure any kills, and we are wasting experience in that top lane that we could be using. I think we have 25 seconds until those shrines come up. Let's get these knights. Uh, do quite a bit of damage here. You guys can see I can just basically spam my seismic slam. Do a lot of damage to everyone involved or everyone around. I'm just keep spamming that. You know, I'm burning through my uh, fury pretty quickly, but that is all right. I'm gonna use my spear, pick up a little bit more. Looks like ETC and I got this. We are have the Falstad and Brightwing there pushing the middle. We do have that knights going on, which will help quite a bit. I say Brightwing is poofing out actually. I'm going to try and do as much damage as I can here to Brightwing. I do force him back. Vala's moving in to try and help out. Enemy team does have both shrines, which is rather unfortunate for us. So Gazlo's asking us to leave mid. We do have... Uh, oh, I did that fired the wrong direction. I wanted to get that on Felstad. We had to keep... Uh, we, what we had to do was keep Felstad back. I'm going to be on my way to the bottom. So hopefully I can catch uh, someone here. Furion is there with me now. So I did get that. Oh, I did get Brightwing with the push. Hopefully I can catch up to him. It's going to be pretty close if I do. Unfortunately, I need to back it up. Hopefully or Gazlo can take something down here. I'm going to keep trying to push back with the Seismic Slam. Do what damage I can. Looks like Lili is down. Gazlo is trying to catch us in his ulti, which he almost does. There we go. We did get Gazlo down. We are going to have the Shrines. Hopefully Vimvala can pick up the Dragon Knight. We do have our ultimates. Um, I'm going to pick up Leap just to do a little bit more damage. Uh, I do like the other one, Wrath of the Berserker. If you could stack your Fury and keep it going the whole game, it actually works out quite well. It looks like Felstad ended up killing Vala there in the middle while she was trying to take that dragon. And unfortunately, we're not going to hold on to this top shrine. It's going to die any second now, and it does go down. Uh, ETC was forced back. I'm going to go up there and help that lane out. Um, actually, I'm going to stay in the middle and help this lane out. I'm going to whirlwind these guys down. And it does 60 DPS, which is kind of helpful, but not entirely helpful. And Gazlo is on the bottom with three, uh, three on one situation, so he does actually need to get out of there, which is really unfortunate for him. Felstad, uh, Gazlo wants to kill Felstad, which is, you know, understandable. Given the cir circumstances, I do get a nice uh, spear off. That's what that's called. I do get a nice spear off here on. Brightwing and for or we should oh that really is rather unfortunate. And we do Brightwing is down. We do need to go take out the dragon. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to do much down there. Oh, uh, let's see what we can do. Do we want to grab the dragon here? Try and get some attention. Going on, I'm going to activate the Whirlwind. Lily did activate her ulti, but ETC cancels that immediately with a mosh pit. That was actually a really good mosh pit by him. I have 16 seconds left on this uh, leap. There we go. We did get uh, Lily down with a stun from the uh, Ancient Spear. Brightwing is back. He is coming out to help out Felstad. Falstad, we have Sergeant Hammer. We need to stop up here. So I'm going to move up there and help her. Looks like my team can do that. They should be able to have another killer to take out Lily. I'm going to try and get Sergeant Hammer here. Do as much damage as I can to her. Come on, let's do this, Sergeant. Let's do this. Oh. Might I just need one more spear. There we go. We got Sergeant Hammer down. Pushed her back. Got that. Secured that kill. Uh, let's see. We're going to go temporarily reduce the... Uh, Fury cost of Seismic Slam after it's used, so that means I have the increased damage and the decreased cost. So overall, it does end up costing less 
fury. It costs 10 instead of 14. And they end up uh, having a lot more uh, uptime I can do on that. Ga or enemy Gazlo is actually doing a fantastic job of murking. Our Gazlo needs to try and get on that. I'm on my way bottom to help out. I don't know if anything's really going to happen here. Oh, I do get... Oh, man, that was really cool. She did get me uh, with the polymorph. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to run into that three-on-one fight that is going on. I'm going to try to push this top a little bit more, try and keep our experience relatively even. Let's look at our stats. So, I have a 10,000 XP contribution right now, 11,000 hero damage, and a little bit of siege damage. So, I'm going to try and keep Sergeant Hammer back. Looks like they are pushing into that mid now. I'm going to stay up here, pick up that last uh, little bit of experience. Every little bit counts right now. Looks like ETC is getting pushed back. Brightwing goes down, maybe with the Hungering Arrow. The Reign of Vengeance does get it, and it does stop the... Uh I'm on. Get Lily, get Lily. She is healing herself up quite well, actually. Which is a bit of a problem for us. Lily does go down. Looks like Felstad is around here somewhere. Malfurion just body blocked me from getting Felstad. Oh, uh, he does fly away, uh, Fury, and that was really, really bad, man. This looks like uh, they are getting the knights up top. We really do need Gazlo to start murking if we're going to uh, be doing a lot of damage here. The enemy Gazlo is really beating, uh, beating us up on that. Looks like Vala is trying to secure that top. For Fury and Hope, oh, Vala does not secure that top four. I'm going to go try and stop Gazlo from taking that. Which I'm fairly certain the enemy Gazlo could be going there. He is not, fortunately. So I'm gonna just going to burn these guys down as quickly as possible. There's the enemy Gazlo. I knew he would be coming up here any moment now. So f unfortunately, my team is not there to help me out. And Felstad does jump in there. Looks like ETC and, uh, who's this? Furion. Malfurion are doing a little bit of what they can to hold on to the top. Unfortunately, Gazlo did show up. He does, this Gazlo is not doing what he's supposed to be doing. He is laning really, really hard. And it's just not what he's built to do. He does hold a little bit fairly well on his own. Unfortunately, Felstad is taking on, does uh, barrel roll out of that reign of vengeance. Vala is trying to take him down, going all in, but... Probably, oh, just trade. Barely. Furion is going to go down here. Most likely, his trade quality is keeping him alive. Uh, ETC is up there. Vala saying lost. Enemy Dragon Knight is coming. It looks like they're going to bring him up top with this big push that they have going on. Looks like Gazlo is on the bottom. I'm going to go with abilities gain more movement speed. I'm going to try and stop a little bit of what Gazlo is doing, not, uh, got going on down here. So I'm going to. Mount up. The problem is I don't have any built up fury. So I won't be able to do that much damage to him. So I'm actually going to go up top and try and stack as much fury as I can before this fight really starts. Like I said, he does pump me out of the way right into the fountain. So I'm going to go in there, mount up, and heal up. Try and wait for my ancient spear to come back here. ETC does push the dragon right outside of the bush. Looks like Lili is the one who had the dragon. So I'm going to jump over there and try and burn her down. There we do. We go end up getting her. I have about 45 seconds left on that leap. So I'm going to try and catch Brightwing here. It's going to be pretty close. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah, we did get him with a moon fire there on the last second from uh, Malfurion. The smirk camp is probably being taken by Gazlo. Yep. That is exactly where it was. Felstad and Gazlo are really working together on those smirk camps, which is rather unfortunate for us. So I'm going to run home. Heal up do what I can. I don't want to use the well. I might need it later, and I'm still close to the middle. Looks like Felstad gets caught by the Reign of Vengeance and goes down. Sonia is not standing in the fountain, which she should be. That was my bad. So, Gazlo is most likely moving down there. Enemy Gazlo. Hopefully we can take out these giants before they do any damage and just call it a wash. I really would like to secure a couple of them. Which is going to be rather unfortunate, which is going to be... Yep, there it goes. There goes those giants. They are going for the mercs on bottom, so my team should be well aware of that. Unfortunately, I don't think that we are really uh, all that in on taking it. So I'm going to try and do what I can here. Unfortunately, it's actually not much, especially with Gazlo or with Brightwing uh, warping in on that one. So if my team had come up to help me, we may have been able to actually do something about that. So there, Lily does go down. Furion's got his tranquility going on. Brightwing does push us out of the way with his 
Flair looks like Gazlo's trying to set up his wombo combo, but it goes off just a just a second too late. Um, he dies right before that goes off, and we do end up pulling a triple kill, so that worked out fairly well for us. Could have been a little bit better. I'm going to throw my spear into here, just try and stack the last of the fury I need. That was rather interesting on that. Oh, I need to get back. This is really going to hurt. Thylestad's trying to kill me with his basically all in there. I'm going to try and bait him out. He does get a little greedy. He does get actually very greedy. Uh, unfortunately, I miss right there with my spear. He is trying to get that. There we do. There we go. He did get greedy and come out, so we secured the kill with the leap. Looks like Sergeant Hammer is chasing Vala in the middle. Unfortunately, Vala's pretty dead in that. Oh, blunt force gun just takes her down. So hopefully I get someone to come up here and help me with Sergeant Hammer. Um, let's see, I have pretty good fury stacked. I'm pretty low on life. Uh, Malfurion wants to free the, free the Dragon Knight, so I will do that as soon as Gazlo secures that shrine. So I have the dragon now. There we go. We can make it. We can totally make this comeback. I'm going to push this middle, and then I'm probably going to swing bottom. So I'm going to burst this down, and then as soon as I've got this, I'm going to go straight for the bottom one. So now I'm going to go right down to the bottom. Hopefully Lily gives me something to actually punt here. Looks like ETC is doing a great job of keeping her back. Brightwing is going to also warp in here. Looks like Furion's coming down to try and help me out. Let's see. Maybe I can punt Brightwing out to the back. So we do take that one. Or come on, get him. Yeah, there we go. We did get that as well. So I'm going to try and move around Lily here and punt her backwards. Unfortunately, she doesn't go very far. Hopefully I can get, maybe I can get mm, Brightwing. There's too much healing going on on their team right now for me to really do much. So I do have a leap up. We do need to get out of here. Ooh. Ah, that stupid minimap. I clicked on that. Otherwise I would have gotten out of there. So the Furion does go down. They're doing their best to try and kill us. Looks like ETC's got his movement speed aura going on. You can see our, both of us running slightly faster thanks to that. But they are really determined to get a kill here. Lily's getting super aggressive. Unfortunately for them, they don't manage to do it. Thank you, ETC, for helping me out with that. They are going to be going for our uh, knights up top. I'm going to grab Resurgence of the Storm. Uh, just the way this game has been going, we've been dying quite often. Looks like Vala is fighting there in the middle. Hopefully she can get behind the gate. ETC does move in to help her out. I'm going to try and get there. Maybe we can make something happen. It's going to be really close on whether or not we can make something happen. Come on, we can get Brightwing at least. There we do. We go get Brightwing down. Uh, maybe we can catch these two if ETC gives us a little bit of a speed boost. So yeah, enemy Gazlo totally took those uh, knights exactly like I was expecting. Our Gazlo really needs to get on that. He's probably going to be down here taking these giants. Unfortunately, I do not have the health to deal with this if he d if he is down here. So it's going to be a bit of a gamble on my part. Yep, there is exactly where he was, exactly where I thought he would be. Um, our Gazlo really needs to get on that. So hopefully we can get something going on here. Our we are doing a decent job of keeping the Knights back. Our Gazlo's... Mm, let's see what he's doing. He's done... 21 hero damage, so he's doing pretty well. XP contribution is fairly low, on the other hand. Mine is pretty high. Looks like Furion is doing that. Gazlo is pushing the top, doing it best he can. Looks like Felstad is here in the middle. Shrines are up. Hopefully we can take this bottom shrine. I'm going to see if I can hold on to the mid, although it will be a bit of an interesting situation. Hopefully my team can take something on the bottom. Felstad's about to own them with that. Although the Reign of Vengeance does go off with the Tranquility. And oh, we might be able to catch Felstad and Lily. Lily does get separated, so that should kill her. Oh, I missed just barely. Lily does manage to... How did she get around there? Oh, she has Bolt of the Storm. That is how she ended up doing that. Hopefully Gazlo can get back and do something about what his team is doing. Capture that top shrine, please, Gazlo. We really do need that. Hopefully uh, we have Gazlo versus Sergeant Hammer up here. I'm going to go up and help them. She does have five mines, which is going to do an incredible amount of damage to Gazlo. There we do. I do catch her. Come on. She's trying to get out of the way, doing her best to do that. 
All right, there we go. I will take a little bit of damage to take out Sergeant Hammer. Somebody needs to go to the middle, try and secure the Dragon Knight. Hopefully, Vala does move on her way down there. Unfortunately, we did lose the bottom shrine to Malfurion. We are still about half a level ahead, which is working out for our team. Uh, it's not working out the greatest, but it is working out decently. Vala's in the middle, trying to take down some forts. I'm going to take down this wall and then try and push a little bit here. Keep my fury pretty high. Mm, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to burn a lot of fury right here to bust these guys down. Burn some fury and some damage just to try and do... Uh, burn some fury and some health to try and do as much damage as I can to this fort. What are we doing at? We're at 33, 30, 15. There's a decent amount of siege damage on my part. We are pushing this fort pretty well. I probably should uh, not overstay my welcome. The enemy team has basically respawned at this point. Vala saying uh, she's not very happy at the moment. We are about a half level ahead still that Malfurion got the mule. I believe it's Malfurion. Let's see if that was actually him. Uh, he did not pick up the mule. It was Gazlo that picked up the mule. It's actually an interesting idea for him. Gazlo, or, oh, maybe we can get Sergeant, or maybe we can get Brightwing there. She just warp in to try and save uh, Gazlo, which she does end up doing. I don't know how well she did to save him. Uh, unfortunately, I believe the enemy's going to have a Dragon Knight any second now. I can't get there in time. Maybe I can. To stop. Nope. I did not realize that they had someone else there. We need all five to the middle as soon as possible. This is what I wanted to save that well for. Try and use it right before the end of the game here. Looks like... He <laughs> Wow, Gazlo actually ran through our base to get there. Furion is moving around. Hopefully he has a Tranquility up. ETC should have an ulti. Yes, ETC with the ulti. Great ulti there. Come on, somebody finish off Ga or somebody finish off Falstead. Falstead does go down before he gets his ultimate off, which is a huge boon for us. I don't know if we can save this fort. Unfortunately, it's going to get really close. That mule is going to do all it can, all it can do. To get it, oh, Gazlo does go down, ETC goes down, and wow, that is a hell of a time for me to lag. It's a really bad situation for her, uh, there to be a bit of a lag spike going on. Looks like uh, Furion is having to back off. Let's get in here and heal. Furion could actually help heal us faster by using his regen. Uh, Sergeant Hammer's taking out that mid fort. They are pushing our core pretty badly. We lost that team fight too badly for us to actually do anything. So hopefully I can burn down Lili and maybe Lili. There goes Lili. Furion and I are doing a decent job. That fort is super close to dead. Uh, Furion does need to get out of there, which he does not do, unfortunately. So hopefully I can get Brightwing here. I just need one more shot. Brightwing is down. Gazlo is trying to make a push for me. Uh, they're going to take out that top keep. Just one shot away from s with Sergeant Hammer. She does do that. Our core is absolutely under siege here. So I'm going to move out there, try and get Gazlo. Maybe I could do that. So maybe I can get Gazlo. There we do. We do bust down Gazlo. Sergeant Hammer's trying to GTFO. She's like, oh, hell no, I'm not going to do this. Hopefully we can get Sergeant Hammer. Let's see. We need to get the Merc camps. If we're going to make a comeback here, we need the Merc camps. We need actually a six giant push on bottom. So we actually do need to get those. Gazlo's doing the top one. ETC has got these guys. Uh, they're getting. They're gonna go for those. Uh, their giants. Looks like Felstad's actually backing off. Thank you, thank you, Felstad, for. There we go. Felstad is down. I'm gonna try and burn this last. I need help over here, guys. Need a lot of help, actually. Unfortunately, I do go down there, but I do have the Resurgence of the Storm, which will help quite a bit. Lily does overextend to get the kill. She does use her Bolt, and she does go down. So take that dragon before somebody else takes it. I'm going to get down to the bottom. I'm going to go on my way to take this one. Uh, oh, we need everyone pushing bottom. With six giants, we can actually win this game. There's a very, very good possibility we can win this game. It would be a pretty... Pretty epic comeback. I'm going to try and get these giants down. Come on. Come on. I need, just need a little bit more fury. There we go. Now I'm just going to stack fury on this guy. Hopefully somebody does go to the middle and pull that. 
Uh, we do have a pretty large advantage on the bottom. Gazla is moving to get the or get the dragon. Uh, Brightwing pushes everyone back with his uh, what is that ability called? It's his a uh, concussion winds. That's what it is. So looks like we do have a dragon knight coming down the middle. We are pushing the top with that fort. Looks like Gazlo goes down. Vala goes down, unfortunately, as well. The Dragon Knight is coming down here to help us out. So that will give us a pretty large advantage. We are pushing this fort pretty hard. We do have six giants accompanying it. We do need to keep as many of our team alive as possible. So we need to spread out from that. Looks like uh, maybe we can catch Lily here. If we can get her, this is actually going to be huge. She does have a shield that she puts on. Come on, come on, keep pushing, keep pushing. So does, she does blind me. Furion needs to start healing people up. We can get this mid fort, hopefully. This is going to even out the game in a really big way. Lily does get trapped by the root just momentarily. We did take out the mid fort. We might be, be able to take out the top fort. It's going to be a really big fight whether or not this works out for us. So hopefully we can burn down, Ga or burn down Falstad, which we do. Looks like uh, Lily's on the way. <laughs> with Brightwing to try and finish me off, but we do have the movement speed aura there from ETC. He's giving me that, really helping me out. I am actually going to need to leap here to get away from everyone. Oh, this is going to be such a close one. Oh, unfortunately, we do get away just barely. That is going to work out really well for our team. I did have my resurgence up. We do have all three keeps down, so this is actually turning into quite the epic game. Really nice comeback. Whew. All right, this is working out. I'm going to save that well in case I need it later. Unfortunately, I don't think Gazlo is going to get away. He may be able to pull something off. Now, Lily and uh, Brightwing are going to get him. Maybe that bomb will hit them, but they move out of it. We need to stay together and tell Gazlo. So hopefully we can do that. We have a minute and 20 seconds on that one. They're, tr they're, going, in for a, they're going for an all-out push right now, actually. They're just going for the win. So we... Need to get this before he gets anything, uh, before he gets all those off. That combination is actually going to be really bad for us. Sergeant Hammer's pushing in here. They are going for this. All their cards are on the table. This is their all in. Hopefully we can get, uh, Lily does get away there with her. Oh, nope, she doesn't. She does get her blink off there. They are trying to keep me as hurt as possible. Our Gazlo will be back momentarily. Hopefully we can do get Hammer trapped on our side. She's not going to get away. Vala's going to finish her. Uh, Vala does get does finish her, so we, we can push here and w end it. We do need these giants. This should help quite a bit. The bottom giants are up in 39, and this these giants are up in 11. So we need to kill the giants. So we need those. These guys are up in two seconds. Let's get these ones. Vala needs to back it up just a tad. We had Felstad and Lily over here. So if we can turn this into a big team fight right here, that would actually work very well for our team. Come on. Why is my seismic slime not going off? There we go. Seismic slime finally goes off there. So we're doing what I can, what we can. We did get those giants. Let's back it up. We have a uh, tranquility going on. I'm going to leap in there. Once ETC. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Uh, hopefully we can get somebody here. Come on, somebody die. ETC, we need to back it up. Do need to back up. We have Mercs pushing from every direction. We have four Giants. We only have two. Oh, uh, yes, we do have four Giants pushing on this bottom. So we're actually, I'm actually going to stay here and push with these guys because I feel it's going to be more powerful to push uh, with less Giants than to have my team be a man down and push with less Giants. So Felstad almost gets caught in the entangling route there. He's chasing Felstad. Falstad. There we go, two down. Got Gazlo and Lili. Hopefully we can get... Uh, quadruple kill down. We have their entire team is actually wiped. We should be able to do this. It's going to be pretty close on whether or not we can. We do have a lot of uh, mercs going on, although our giants do kill those. And we did make quite the comeback here on our team. Woo, that was really close. Let's take a look at our stats. 20,000 siege damage, uh, 63,000 hero damage, 62,000 uh, XP contribution. I wish I could look at everyone's stats. I uh, just kind of see how everyone did. That was actually a really, really good game. Really close there. Uh, whew, I thought we were going to... Un unfortunately, I'm unable to fetch game results. So we can't see the final stats. 
um, because I did disconnect slightly during the game. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was, whew, that was probably one of the best comebacks I've had down two forts. I mean, two keeps. Uh, we had one keep left. I believe they had one fort and all three keeps, and we did make a comeback of it. It uh, just shows you how powerful that bottom lane is on that map. Those six giants will, de will just chew uh, through the bottom lane. And if you can push into their main base, they'll actually kill the mid keep as well. So with the, those six giants on the bottom, you can completely annihilate a th uh, half of their base, essentially. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, just shows you how good mercs are. And I will see you guys later.